the street industry has always been a good place for me. I've, I've always loved rocking here. Let's start the show. Spectating gin, debilitating chins on television. Cousin tape recording bars, pacing in the kitchen. Commence pen and written prior to my new religion. Being present, yellow belly fella, smell of Nelly's vision. When I'm performing, I feel like an elevated version of myself. You're on stage and it's like you got everybody's attention. It's like a responsibility to it. I can't control my passion, hope to own it. Small breaks, relax about the ocean. Back to Minnesota to go and watch your toes kick. Sand by the lake, right for the car, but they must kind of sky. It feels good, you know, it's like a natural high. Natural high. It's like, you know, getting high without getting high, so <laughs> yeah. The spot till we rock with Jay Leno, waving at you people through the screen to say hello. Eyes low like Garfield's not high, just stay mellow. though. Grandma said the natural buzz would always be the best. Writing gives you a natural high too because you'll think of like a witty line or something like, oh damn, like I'm proud of myself for that one. Various things that could just happen that you didn't even see coming, you know, you come up with something that's real wise or real slick, like a nice punchline, and you just feel good about it. that kind of stuff that really gets you going. I feel the latent effects of assimilation in a city native, raised by bright light skyscrapers, born with dim prospects, little peace and living as a child, I hid about the fact I wasn't wild like they called my ancestors, imagine what it'd be to live nomadic off the land and free. Prayers in a song is definitely my most popular and well-known song. A song that I'm real proud of because it's something that I feel like I was one of the first to do it. It's a mix of Ojibwe with English. Get your money do for showing me my true roots, definitely native. Take responsibility for being educated. So I wrote a whole song in English and uh, had a friend translate the chorus into Ojibwe and it just so happened to rhyme and fit exactly perfect to the hook. It's crazy when stuff like that happens. Get your money, do we do cow with shin? Jimushka with Zion, me Dutch, but me, it is Zion. Me Jishanam, I get you white when good news Jishanam, bits and down with Shanam, me wine, Jinaka Mogyan. Nima show me sweet, do cow with Shanam, Jit, I budget too young, I miss Shanam, baby, is it why when me Jit big, it came to my KI, I miss Shanam, baby, my dizzy win. I grew up struggling to uh, know who I was as a native person. I didn't know really, you know. And just growing up without the culture, the language, inner city native. Like, okay, who am I? You know, being a kid, like, what does it mean to be native, you know, aside from powwows and stuff like that. This is symbolic of anguish. I feel regarding language and the obligation of revitalizing something sacred. Failure to carry through is disgrace in a nation. My first tongue's in need of a facelift, but... And that's kind of like the message of the song, just talking about my personal story as far as my native identity goes. My struggles with that as a kid and even as an adult. I feel like the culture and the language need to be taught through mediums that are appealing to kids as well. And I was like, okay, I got hip hop, so that's definitely appealing to kids and youth, you know? So I was like, so I'm gonna make this song and uh, it'll make the language cool to them. For the most part, I just record here. I've learned how to mix thanks to some friends who have taught me and I'm really not the best engineer as far as mixing and mastering goes. I'm really just doing what I'm capable of, really. People say it sounds good, so <laughs> that's cool with me and it's free. I'm tall Paul the Walker, dead but alive like Paul Walker. Live from the underground of Palmer Clown and Pasta. Smoke your whole roster like a roster, just cause you're Basta. I brought me live with wits and quick to get rid of you. Incinerate like guys with temps from the depths of the core. Tectonic plate movement, underground, ready for war. Sewer surfing with some turtle ninjas. My verbal scissors fading heads while Kermit witness all the murder scriptures, curdle jiggers. That's not my business though. As I slit the throat with lips and iced tea like your wifey. When she get a coat, you sit in rows. That's no bleed section cause you ain't with it, bro. Claim to be game, but your aim can't make a finger roll. Plenty to come atop the surface to take from the perpetrators. I roll with levitators, meditators, purple blazers. We mock the mess of every chance we get. Cause preparation plus opportunity equals success. I really challenged myself to 
write about what I want, say exactly what I want to say, you know, while at the same time rhyming. And that's hard to do, but that's what I like to do a lot. And then sometimes I just like, you know, I get a beat and I'm like, oh, you know what, I just want to be careless with this one and talk about how I'm better than other rappers or something like that, which is easy. Nothing to that. You don't got to do no research. It's not hard to do. It's just writing rhymes and spitting bars. Street entry downtown Minneapolis, and it is for the uh, first Indigenous People's Day hip hop showcase. Help me welcome to the stage Twin City Zone native rapper Tall Paul. <laughs> I hope to do music for a career, just be, um, you know, be an artist full time. That's that's really my goal. I don't want to be rich, you know. I mean, I do, you know. I think everybody wants to be rich, but I just want to connect with my listeners on like a human level, I guess, you know. Hope that I can influence people to do good with their lives. <laughs> Y'all just blew it up and took things out of perspective.